Guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're going to break down the police every breath you take. Uh, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel, and then also that link down there will take you through a bunch of great resources, including some free guitar lesson courses. And I appreciate that extra support, so thank you. Let's break this down. All right, I'm tuned down a, a half step, just to let you know, and then I'm starting with this. So that's the fifth fret on the E string, so an A, and then it's fifth, which is on the seventh fret of the A string, and then the nine, which is the ninth fret of the D string. So you hit those three notes, then back to the A string. And then you have to hit the sixth fret on the G string. My pinky has to move out of the way because my fingers aren't that long. If you have long fingers, you could probably get get that happening. So check it out. And then my pinky comes back down to hit that D string on the ninth again, and then A, and then D. So one more time really slow. So I have a little bit of chorus on the guitar and then a little bit of delay as well for some of that tone. And then also you're gonna, I wasn't doing it yet, but you're gonna wanna palm mute it, get that palm muted sound with your right palm right there. And so when I'm playing the riff, I'm only taking the pinky off when I reach over for that G string. Now we're gonna do the basically the same thing for F sharp minor, but because it's a minor chord, we don't need a middle finger down. It's just gonna be barred across the second fret, but the same exact riff. But instead of that middle finger needing to be down, it's just from that second fret bar. So it's the second fret G string. put those together and now we go D E back to for this time F sharp minor sometimes it resolves to a sometimes it resolves to F sharp minor which is really cool so we have D E F sharp minor, but instead of the chords, we're playing that riff with that. It's basically major chord with an added ninth, minor chord with the added ninth, and they're arpeggios. So for the D, we start the same way. We're just on the fifth fret A string, which is the D note there. So this pattern's a little easier, I think. So it's A, D, G. So that's five, seven, and nine. And then you go back to the D. Then G on the seventh, back to the D on the seventh. So. And then finally just that A string, D string, so. time Thank you. 
All right, just to recap, I'm going to do it from the top, kind of slow for you. So first it's F sharp minor, but then before it goes to the next change, it resolves to A major. <clears throat> Another thing, just on the intro, it you know, you're not going to get points knocked off, but on the very first time... That last note, instead of it being the D string, it's the G there. But the rest, it sounds like it's the D. So it's just a choice. But um, that's what we have so far. And what's interesting, cool, is they're like more exotic chords, but based on a very simple, simple progression. One, six, four, five. So, uh, oh, can't you see you belong to me? So, obviously, it's not those chords, but just the structure. Oh, can't you D? Breath, rest, C, you belong to A. And then up to B major, B, then B, back to the top. So that would be then, oh, can't you? Same thing down a whole step for C, then the A. Then you just move that up a whole step, exact same thing. And the same thing that we did on D, we can do for E. Just twice. Every breath you. So though it all just repeats that same chord concept of uh, an add nine, I guess is what you'd call it, because you have the major, A major, add nine, F sharp minor, add nine, D major, add nine. E major add nine. You also have a little C one that in there for a second. So there's a bridge, and what's pretty great is we do finally play some regular old uh, cheaper chords, as they, as Sting would say, not the more expensive chords. So check it out. Just F to G's, right back up to the. And then um, basically the form at the end, there's nothing new, no new riffs to learn, but they just change the structure of the chord progression at the end. So that outro is one, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, T, two, three, four. Da, da, da. 
etc. So that gets you through all the parts. It's all based off on one concept that uh, are in a lot of police songs. So if you get this song down, you're going to get just a ton of other police stuff in your catalog. So have fun with that. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thanks again for hanging out. Once again, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And then also check that link down there for some great resources. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you later.